what up crypto warriors and sergeant crypto back at it again today is saturday the 16th of january 2021 bitcoin is trading pretty much up in the last 24 hours last seven days down 10 percent though eth down five percent over the past uh four percent my bad over the past seven days up nine percent over the past 24 hours and polka dot man polka dot for all you bag holders of polka dot congratulations congratulations up 37 percent 20 in 24 hours and taking the number three spot i am not counting tether as a number three coin all these price ag aggregators need to get rid of tether as the number three coin because it's tether like come on man it's not even a i'm not even gonna get into it but polka dot has solidified itself over uh, take it in XRP and XRP is up over the past 24 hours down for the past week pretty much everything is down over the past week except for dot Bitcoin cash chain link that's in the top 10 all right so there you have it let's get into it so this is a continuation from my video where uh, people predicting the price for it eth per Ethereum could go up to 75k not saying that it'll, it'll happen this bull run but i could definitely see anywhere between 5 and 10k this bull run and the way i was looking right now i could see 5k incoming and i'm gonna give you some reasons as to why number one reason is exchanges running out of eth with reserves plunging 27 percent in 48 hours analysts predict ether may soon hit new all-time high as eth reserves on centralized exchanges fell by 27% in two days. This is crazy. We're seeing a shortage on the amount of ETH, not only on the amount of Bitcoin on exchanges, but now also the amount of ETH. We're seeing a lot of what you call it, institutional players starting to divert and pay attention more, pay a little bit more attention now to ETH. And we're going to see the price reflect accordingly but the amount of ether held on exchanges has plunged over the past two days with uh, crypto quant data indicating that just 8.1 million ETH is currently sitting in the reserves of centralized exchanges and just coming from Alex Saunders he's uh, great in the Ethereum uh, community and is an analyst that gives you gives every you just got to give him a follow on Twitter man he definitely is big in the ethereum community but he's the one that's pointing it out saying that hey with targets like 5k 10k and 20k in the long term i doubt many hot hodlers will sell their eth in the one to 2k range nobody is selling the eth right now because i think people like me i'm gonna give you my my with my experience i'm not trying to sell my eth right now because i picked up eth all right i was picking up eth at 80 dollars at 100 dollars and I know the all-time high in the last bull run was fourteen hundred dollars. So why would I sell right now? At where is it right now? Why why would I sell at twelve hundred? Right. First of all, if I sell at twelve hundred right now, half of that is going to the tax man. Okay, the tax man's got to get his share. So uh, that's that's six hundred that I'm really getting. And then not only that, what about ETH two point and staking and the way how i earn more eth is through celsius why would i sell that when i'm getting not only a price appreciation of eth but also getting a five percent return on my ethereum from celsius all right and i also have some on nexo where i'm getting a six six percent return on my ethereum so what i would i sell it not happen point being people are holding out for that 5k eth and it's coming it's inbound and it's coming real fast because as you can see by the chart right here it is let's zoom in a little bit there, 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 oops i clicked on it didn't mean to, for that to happen but there it is it's getting pulled up on twitter right now and let's just click on the chart and let's see what happens <laughs> but we're, we're seeing them lose the amount of ethereum on the exchanges like look at this big drop drop off and the price will eventually reflect what is happening i did a video the other day where uh the crypto exchange eToro they were talking about the fact that they're basically running out of bitcoin 
and I could see them running out of Ethereum as well. The price will, will ref reflect eventually. It'll, it'll take some time for it to catch up, but people are going to be holding on to the Ethereum and nobody really isn't going to sell until maybe 5k. All right. No large sell amounts is going to come in until maybe 5k. That's just my opinion, of course. Next, let me close this out. Sorry. Next, we have Ethereum prices tumble to 915, but traders are bullish for four key reasons. So reason number one is we just spoke about it, right? The fact that people are basically um, taking their cryptos off the exchanges and they're putting them on places like Celsius and Nexo where you could earn a, a, a return on your Ethereum. Not only that, people are yield farming with their Ethereum on DeFi platform. Also, people are just hodling their Ethereum. And here it is, exchange withdrawals um, point to whale accum accumulation. I already went over that. But we have, again, the, the yield farming with you know, and staking their Ethereum as well in ETH 2.0. That's another reason why we're seeing this this shortage for Ethereum on exchanges. We have also the futures premium is still usually on usually high. Our professional traders tend to dominate long term, longer term futures contracts with expiry set date. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. By measuring the expense gap between futures and the regular spot market, a trader can gauge the level of bullishness in the market. The above chart shows that the indicator has been ranging from 3.5 to 6%, which translate as moderately bullish. The current 4.5% rate is equal to a 19% annualized premium and is significantly above the 6% neutral threshold. Futures market, ETH is predicting higher prices. That's all you got to take away from that. And it's basically a 19% annualized premium. That's crazy. Uh, spot volume remains strong. People are buying ETH at these crazy prices still. You know, I, I'm not buying ETH anywhere above a, uh, a, a grand right now. Uh, options uh, put call ratio. At the moment, there is no sign that investors have flipped to more neutral to bearish. Put option strategies as indicators stands at 0.77 and favors call options. This trend has also prevailed over the past week as investors continue to new bullish positions super bull bullish right now for ETH. we're going to see within the next three months or so within the next three months within the next three months or so i could definitely see 90 days time right three months a 5k ETH. unless something crazy happens to, to pull the whole market down we're going to definitely see a 5k ETH within the next three months all right ethereum investors are quick to buy the dip because as soon as it dropped below a thousand dollars, a lot of people were buying. Okay, I have friends that weren't even in the crypto space that were hitting me up. Hey, should I be getting ETH right now because it just dropped below? Okay, uh, so there you have it. We we have no coiners coming into the space realizing that Ethereum under a grand is a, a steal. Those are the reasons why Ethereum will hit a 5k price within the next three months save this video share this video and you know call me out on my bs if in three months time what by march let me see february february march april by april 16th right after tax day <laughs> by april 16th if ETH ain't at 5k call me out on my bs man and let me know if if i was wrong or not right thanks for watching smash that like hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and what are your price predictions for Ethereum. Do you see it hitting that 5k mark within the next five months? And can you see a 20k ETH by the end of this bull run? Let's talk about it. Stay away from the scammers in the comment section below. And I'm out. Peace.